What's up guys, Skippy Africanus here, and today we're going to be doing a 5 guns they should add to Modern Warfare 2 video. And we're going to start this one off with one that's uh, pretty obvious and actually very surprising they didn't add. Obviously the SIG MCX Spear, or as the army designates it, the XN5. This weapon, of course, was the winner of the Next Generation Squad Weapon Program that the U.S. military was running, where they were trying to find a new rifle as well as squad support weapon. And uh, it's kind of neat that they actually have the RAL, which is actually the MG338 in there, which, to an extent, they adopted as the XM250. Albeit, the XM250 is actually a scaled-down version, and instead of running 338 on a mag, it actually uses the 277 Fury, which the MCX Spear uses. So this is a pretty neat rifle if you don't really know too much about it. Number one with this thing, the ammo it, it's supposed to be running is super overpressure, generating more pressures than a 762 NATO proof round, which if you don't know what that is, that's a round loaded to absolute max pressure to test out new rifles. This is part of the reason why you'll see the actual service ammo actually has a steel cup and block washer in it, again, to hold in all that pressure. Now, of course, they'll have, they have normal ammunition for training, of course, because they don't want to beat the guns to death before they got into the the field. That is, of course, if they send them out to the field. But nonetheless, a very cool rifle, and uh, the fact that the U.S. military may potentially field them in uh, who knows how many numbers, they're always weird with stuff like this, um, really leads to the uh, the fact that they need to add this gun to this game. Because, you know, obviously, it's it's modern warfare, and uh, if, if the military's using it, well, it sure as heck is modern. So next up on our list, we got the Laugo Alien Pistol. Now this pistol is a high dollar competition pistol, it uses a whole gas system and everything. Supposedly very nice to shoot, although I have never touched one before. Or actually, I mean, I guess I have touched one, but I never got to shoot it, because I've seen a few people on rare occasions run them at matches. Again, very nice running pistol, very neat gas system and everything, and also, fun fact, highly resilient to the mud. Of course, it's a competition pistol, they never see any military service, but neither does the, the FSS Hurricane, or the 5.7 AR, that gun. So I feel like this gun, just, just by the modern looks, I mean, look at that, look how beautiful that is, look how modern that looks for a modern Warfare 2 game. I feel like this would be a fine selection for a new handgun for this game. Next up on our list, we got the ADS Amphibious Rifle. So if you remember the APS uh, Amphibious Assault Rifle in Call of Duty Ghosts, Essentially the same pr uh, principle, though done in a different practice. So, whereas that one couldn't really fire on land, I mean it could, but it would get about 200 rounds and that was your lifespan. This one is actually designed to not only fire underwater, but on land, equally as effective. It's essentially, it's just switching ammo type. I feel like this would be a pretty cool gun, aside from it looking cool, to give uh, some uh, an interesting gameplay to the underwater portions that are on here. There are not many of them, but you know, just imagine swimming with this thing and you're able to actually shoot people under there. I think that'd be pretty neat. And, and, and again, just, just look at this thing. It just looks, it looks freaking cool. Number four on our list, we got the VHS-2. Yes, another bullpup, and a cool looking one at that. I always like this one, because it looks a lot like the STA-52 from Killzone. Produced by a company called HS Products Company. No, not HK, HS. This Croatian-made assault rifle is arguably probably one of the most modern bullpups available, featuring a high level of modularity to it, adjustments and all that. And I will say, from personal experience, at least with the Springfield Hellion, the civilian version of it, they run very nicely. Had I not, uh, been too fond of my AUG, I would have definitely bought one in real life. But I think this gun definitely earns a spot in the new Modern Warfare 2. And last but not least on our list, um, I'm kind of, in a way, obligated to mention this gun. Um, when, when I do mention it, loyal subscribers of the channel, are, they're not going to be surprised at all. In fact, they'd be more surprised if I didn't mention this gun. Of course, the MX-4, which is essentially the military-slash-police version of the CX-4 Storm, which Again, I post very frequently on this channel. This uh, has got to be one of my most favorite subguns of all time. Um, I mean, at least judging from my opinion off of the semi-auto version, because obviously I'm not able to get my hands on the full auto fun gun version. These guns, in my opinion, are the are essentially what a submachine gun should be. You got your magazine and the grip, because when you have a round as small as 9x19, why would you put it anywhere else? Keep helps keep the gun nice and compact, and of course, all the controls to operate the gun are accessible via your shooting hand. Also, you can swap it around from right-handed to wrong-handed shooting, should you prefer to do that. 
but uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be a pretty nifty little gun to add. Or at least mainly for myself anyways, because of course I main it for my PCC matches. And uh, it'd be cool to main it for my Modern Warfare 2 matches. So anyways, that's the five guns that I really feel like they should be adding to this game. If you disagree or have any other suggestions for guns that you would like to see, I'd love to see them. So feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And that'll be all for this video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.